Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Hello? Perfect. Okay, great. Can I ask you guys where where are you from? I've seen Mexico. I've seen uh, BC Canada, Spain. Hola, Spain. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, thank you for your Dominican Republic, Finland. Great. Um, thank you for your introduction. I don't actually, you know, Belgium. Um, I've seen the comments that we need to stay small, but Seattle. Um, but actually, you know, the we are we are very happy at Taladino regarding the first three days or forty days of uh, of our start. Uh, it's actually the perfect size for uh, testing uh, everything. Um, we didn't have the uh, need to stop Netherlands. Nice to stop the, well, I've told you since the beginning, you know, it, it's based on uh, Aladino really buy and install machines, mining computers. So I always have uh, told you since the very first day that we might happen to limit why, uh, sales, why we'll um, improve and fine tune uh, logistic uh, uh, providers and a bunch of other things that moves around the, the Aladino business model. Uh, the size of sales we did in the very first, first 40 days, we just break last week the $1 million, which is not that bad and not that small. It's not that much, but it's not that it's nothing, you know. It's actually a very good sales for the first uh, uh, 30 days of a company, of a new startup, you know. And uh, we did start small with a small team. We are growing right now. And... Uh, is the perfect size for fine tuning everything because give us time, you know, to to see all the um, different uh, uh, parts that makes um, uh, the Aladino engine, you know. So and uh, we fine tuned uh, um, the relation with our supplier. We have seen what worked, what didn't. Uh, we installed the mining computers in uh, in a very short period of time. Uh, you knew since the beginning that uh, the first set could have taken uh, more weeks than the expected one. And actually we, we have my, uh, mining computers um, installed uh, after the second week. So um, every week we are installing new mining computers. They provided are reliable as we thought they were. Um, our business partners are reliable. Our sources uh, of provider are reliable. Um, the, the business is moving just great at the perfect size. And uh, it's actually like, uh, you know, um, it doesn't matter really if you do a million or 10 million or 500,000 or 100,000 the first month. There is a moment um, where you need to um, compress the energy you know you need to at the beginning you know it's always a compression and then there is a release we are compressing now we are uh, storing energy for when the momentum will start as in any network marketing there is always some momentum and uh, we didn't start it yet the energy is compressing the people are starting understanding what Aladino does the people the distributor are starting understanding our business terms, uh, what we do, what is an NFT, what is mining, uh, they are starting uh, taking confidence on the way they talk to other people. And uh, it's a storing of energy and uh, it will be released sooner or later. Uh, in the meantime, we, have, uh, we are testing our software, we are testing our providers. And uh, last week we have a very nice test of our software. There were some intrusion. We reacted very well. Our defenses because of Cloudflare were down and someone tried to get into the software. So it means that someone uh, is taking um, Aladino very serious, probably some competitors. And uh, that was a good test for us too. So we are actually very, very thrilled, very happy of what we did in the first uh, 40 days of our activity. I'm not going to talk um, a any longer. I'm going to give you space to you for the question. Uh, let me see the first one. Angel, 
Inja Banhara. Do I pronounce it properly? Inja, Inja. Hi, why are you using MetaMask? Because it has no BTC. There are other wallets with BTC. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for your question. MetaMasks allow us to um, to use as a wallet is the most used one in uh, and has some functionalities that we need to uh, let the people uh, take their position. There are many others BTC wallets out there. Uh, MetaMask is a, is a DeFi wallet and uh, you can use for your BTC any, any wallet you want. When you take it out, probably you already did. If you bought the NFT, you already had the chance to take out, to withdraw your BTC from the wallet. You can use any BTC wallet, even centralized one if you want. I don't suggest that. But you can use any wallet you want for taking out the mining reward produced by the, the NFT. So there is no problem on the one you choose. We have chosen MetaMask for many reasons. It's the most used one, the most common one. Everyone knows how to use it. And it's very simple to um, for the people to use it. That's all. OK, Josh. Josh, it is already possible to send your NFT to someone else? If so, how? Let's say my wife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, will you keep the rank if you send your NFT to someone else? Okay, thank you very much. How can we get the QR code again for Go and Theta if you didn't use it the first time? Okay, so uh, regarding the third one, I will need to ask, uh, you will need to ask to the customer service. I'm pretty sure that they will uh, send you back or reset. They will reset actually your uh, 2FA authentication and you will be able to do it again uh, regarding the third of your question. Regarding the first one, I don't suggest to send the NFT to wives. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm married, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, it's possible to send the NFT <laughs> Is it, <laughs> is it possible to send the NFT to to someone else? <laughs> Not your husband too, okay, girls? Uh, so anyhow, yes, you can send your NFT to anyone you want. Um, you can transfer it the same way you receive it in your wallet. And yes, for the second answer, uh, will you keep the rank if you send your NFT to someone else? No. It depends. Actually, the, the real answer is it depends. Why? Well, it's based on what rank you have. For example, if you have multiple NFTs, okay, uh, and you send it just one of them, then if the second one is enough for keeping your rank, then you don't lose it. If you send, if you have one, then of course you're gonna lose the rank, of course. Thank you for your explanation. Thank you, Joan. Steven. <laughs> okay, crypto leader. The life of the mined NFT is the life of the mined NFTs for five years from the date of purchase, right? Yes, right. It's based on the pool, it's based on how long the, the mining computer will uh, will uh, survive our squeezing. Okay, let me see if uh, some other, come on guys, don't be shy. Do all the questions you want. I'm pretty sure you have hundreds of questions. How, Max, how we can see the NFT on MetaMask? Well, as soon as you purchase the NFT, it uh, will display in your MetaMask. If it doesn't, it means that you don't have the functionality enabled in your uh, MetaMask. So you have to enable discover NFTs and it will appear automatically. As soon as you buy it on, uh, on Aladino, it's blockchain. So as soon as you buy and we receive the payment, the NFT should appear in your, in your MetaMask as anyone else. Aronto Frank. I don't talk. 
I don't talk about the network branch of online plat. I don't talk about the network branch of online platform with all kinds of financial products like crypto, NFT, stock certificate, and so on. What later on was an NFT share? Lots of people got armed. Uh, I don't understand this. This is a question or is an assumption or is it a statement, Frank? What can you do? Okay, Michel, eh? si. let me tell you. I think it's uh, this way that I explained that in the past, literally everything was collapsing from ah, projects okay, okay. of, of, of uh, crypto, coins, etc. And here we have something that is sustainable because it goes back to the origin of the creation of something minus a, a power, right? Yeah, Not yeah, yeah. Something sure, sure, sure. Sure. Hmm. sure. Sorry, guys, I had something in my mouth. So, yeah, no, I didn't understand the question before. Now, now I got it. Uh, Frank, so what can you do maybe to show those people that Aladino is long term and the real deal? Oh, I swear, we are for long term. No, I can show nothing, guys. I mean, uh, it's a business. Uh, I'm showing every day that we are here working uh, 20 hours a day, but uh, it's a business. The good part, on a good note for Aladino, uh, whatever happened to Aladino, you have, uh, I mean, let's let's face it, maybe tomorrow morning I'm the owner of the company, okay? One of the owner of the company. Tomorrow morning I get bored and uh, I don't want to work anymore in Aladino, okay? So still, I'm a legal representative of the company. Someone bought an NFT, which is attached to um, terms and conditions. Okay, that means that as a legal representative of a company, MLM or not, you have uh, some uh, uh, legal responsibility in front of the customer, in front of the money that they pay to you, and in front of what you deliver to them. So. You know, uh, there are mining computers. And the last thing that uh, a legal representative will do is not continuing to provide the mining reward, which is what people bought. You know, you bought it an NFT, you have hash rate, and we should keep paying the, the mining rewards. That's part of the terms and condition. And uh, as a legal representative, I don't want to go to jail. So even if I get bored about Aladino, even if I don't want to work anymore, that doesn't mean I don't have responsibility in front of the customers. Both distributor and customer paid something to the company to receive something, and they have all the rights to, in front of the law, to uh, keep receiving them, okay? But if you want an insurance that Aladino will last forever, well, actually, this was my first uh, uh, point when I started to talk about Aladino a couple of months ago during the pre-launch or the positioning. Uh, um, I always said I don't like to say that Aladino will last forever. First of all, I don't like to work a lot. I don't like it. Guys, sorry, I like to enjoy life and I'm pretty sure you like to enjoy life too. I'm um, I'm okay with working milestone and Aladino milestone is a hundred million dollar in um, mining computer installed. So since the very first day, I always said I'm never gonna say that Aladino will last forever. And actually, even in all the documentation we have, we have a milestone which is a hundred million. It's not a lot, but still, it's a decent amount of mining computer ready for the bull market and make us all of us rich. The bull market, the my, the market, the BTC price, the liquidity that will come into the market will make us rich. Not me, not Paolo, not everyone. Uh, so I don't like to make any promises for the future. Uh, I'm not going to stop till we have 100 million mining computer installed. What happened is, let's face it, tomorrow morning the bull, the bull run kicks in, okay? Uh, Will we be able to continue? Probably not, because the mining computer that you have seen installed in the link that we shared in Telegram to uh, 102 mining computer for Bitcoin right now, out of all the other that we purchased for the altcoins, 
uh, we purchase it at a, at a decent price, at, actually at a very good price. But if the bull run tomorrow kicks in, you know, we have installed 102 Bitcoin machine, just for giving you an example, okay? Uh, we bought it at an average price of $3,000 and we had it ready to be shipped. So we just send them the money to our provider in different location. Again, Texas, Ohio, uh, Iowa and Michigan right now, uh, Switzerland next week. And uh, they are installed in a week. So the when they are installed, they start mining, producing money. And the amount invested was 300,000 euros. And if you check the link, dollars, sorry, if you, USDT. Uh, if you check the link today, they are producing $1,200 today, uh, 32, 33,000 uh, in terms of BTC per month producing that. Uh, so it's huge. But if the bull run kicks in tomorrow, those mining computers will probably cost 6,000 or 9,000 or 12,000. And they will be shipped in three months or in six months. So the when I say Aladino is a sort of bet, you know, if we have to close tomorrow the sign up because it's impossible to my to buy the mining computer, you know, who's gonna lose money? Nobody, because the people that bought an NFT, they will be happy because now they have their mining computer already installed, purchase it at a decent price, and they will make a lot of money, way more than the mining reward they are receiving today. For the ones that are out because they wanted to wait, they wanted to see, they didn't trust. Okay, they didn't trust who? The Aladino? They didn't trust the market. The market kicks in tomorrow. The only people happy will be the people that purchase it, the NFT, and they have their mining computer installed. And in small part, I'm gonna be happy too, because we make money too. Out of what? Of the bull market. So that's all the concept that should provide, not to answer to you, uh, Frank, not a guarantee, you know, there is no guarantee in life. I don't trust nobody. I said so many times, uh, I wouldn't send an NFT to my wife. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, dear. I know you're here, just kidding, I love you, uh, but not that much. So, <laughs> so anyhow, the point is, you shouldn't trust Aladino. You shouldn't trust me. You should trust your gut feeling. You should trust what you believe is better for you, for your finances. You shouldn't trust me. Why you should trust me? We don't know each other, you know? Uh, we, we, we've been talking here in, uh, in Zoom. I trust the fact that if I buy an NFT, there is a mining computer installed, the bull market kicks in, I'm okay with it. That's all, that's all. Simple as that. Um, I try, Jos, I try to send the NFT, but I don't find the way how. Oh my God. Uh, this one, I don't know either how to do it. Do you, Aaron? Have you tried to send the NFT? And uh, mm -hmm. it should be like I'm, any other coin from your I, wallet. I need to ask my son. He's not here today. No, I'm, no, I'm I also, kidding. <laughs> I also no, don't know. I, I, we will never um, send the NFT to nobody, especially wives. But uh, yeah, but uh, you know, yes, you can simply do it as, as any other token. You know, it's you you just transfer it from your MetaMask. You need to do it from your wallet. Uh, if you want to do the specific steps how to do it, and you need our help, uh, that's okay. Right to customer support, or if you Google it, how, how to transfer an NFT from MetaMask, and there will be a trillion answer. I, I never did, sincerely. Not the Aladino. I also have other NFTs. I always purchased it some, but never never transferred before. But it should be any, as any other coin. Frank, what can I do maybe to show those people that Aladino is long-term and the real deal? Ah, yeah, that was the previous question. No, it's again, I should add something else. Uh, when someone asks you, why should I trust Aladino? Don't. Don't trust, but trust one fact. You have $1,000 under the mattress, inflation and purchasing power is gonna kill those $1,000. That's for sure. 
Aladino, it's a question mark. Will work, won't work. But the thousand dollars stored under the uh, mattress for sure lost, that's a certainty. Lost 20% since last year, that's all, that's for sure. So you have trust Aladino or not, when you have money, uh, USD, euros, in your uh, uh, mattress or in your safe, 100% sure you have to do something with them or you will lose money 100% every year. The MLA part of program often kills the program. Joanne, very true. Oh my God. Yeah, that's true. Um, but then again, on a good note, hmm. Let's talk about this for a second. Uh, I agree on, on it, but then uh, when you look at some company, at some product, let's not focus on company, let's focus on product. Imagine uh, my love, my first love, Herbalife product, Formula One product. You try to put Formula One product in uh, on the shelves in a supermarket. Would you think they would do it $6 billion today? Probably not. So, you know, it's uh, it's more like company culture of an MLM company kills the company. So when you have, uh, I'm gonna explain this statement, Joan, that's a very important point. Uh, what I've seen in the past being a consultant who is usually uh, the captain um, or the owners of a company that kills the company by duplicating the wrong um, company culture. Company culture is the most important thing. Uh, what does it mean company culture? When I, when I talk to you guys and uh, in order for making you feel uh, better, right? I, I can prepare um, a slide or something that say uh, things that actually are not real, you know? What I'm imp implementing, what kind of company culture I'm implementing, uh, a lie, right? So when I say about company culture, uh, you have to think it's like raising a, a child, a kid, your son, it's the same thing. Uh, you raise, uh, when you talk to him and you teach him some things, uh, you have to think that it doesn't matter one month, one year, five years, or 15 years later, every word you say will uh, will give you back something. Back in terms of good things or bad things, satisfaction or not. Uh, and when it does, uh, it's not his fault. It's what the culture, the, the things that you told to your son when he was a kid. This is the same thing, Aladino, as any other MLM company, is about company culture, is the way we talk to each other here that is gonna make the difference, is the, the way that you guys, we talk to other people that makes the difference. So if we talk and if we implement the same culture of some company, then for sure we are going to uh, make that the MLM part will kill the Aladino business model, which is very simple. It's a mining computer that produce money for all of us waiting for the bull run for making more money okay that's the reality that's what we do but if we start trying to convince people adding uh, words trying to oversell what we do or who we are then for sure we are gonna um we are gonna kill the project from my point of view, from the way, from the things that I've seen in the past, I will never oversell. I will never overpromise. I try not to. Uh, I'm here, of course, to make the company grow for all of you and for us too. That's a reality. That's stupid not to say that. I want to make money. Otherwise, I go to do other things. Aladino, it's a business for me. It's not my life. You know, it's a business. I want it to work. I want it to work for us. And to make it work for us has to work for you first. And the first suggestion I will uh, give it to you uh, for what you, have, you said about the MLM part kills the other is be very careful of what you think about Aladino. And when you are convinced, just tell the people what you think about, try not to oversell it. That's all. 
there is a need in the market and that's enough. There is a need. When there is a need in the market and the people want to protect their money and make some money and they don't know how to do it and they have the money stored somewhere, adding, really losing money every year, that's what we need to say. Simple as that. Buy an NFT, the company will buy a mining computer and you start receiving BTC. BTC, not Aladino bullshit coin. Uh, that's all. And that's enough. If the person doesn't understand that, that's fine. It's not our customer. If a distributor doesn't understand that, that's okay. That's okay. If you find people that say, oh, but the other company guarantee uh, way more than Aladino. Fantastic. How they pay to you in uh, the other company coin? Okay. Good life. You know? So it's about timing. You know, it's about the way that we grow, uh, the way that we perceive things, and then the way that we explain these things to other people. Okay. The MLM part, I agree with you 100%, kills the programs when the company culture try to oversell who they are, what they have. Okay, the rank, uh, thank you for your, uh, for your question, uh, for your statement actually, Joan. It is real 99% of the time. I hope it's not gonna be the same for Aladino. Uh, and I hope you're going to duplicate you know, the company culture, which is try to be as transparent as we can. The rank, uh, crypto holder, the rank, when it is paid and what condition must it met? 60, 40, et cetera, et cetera. The ranks. Well, the ranks Taylor, there's, there's, there's some questions a little bit uh, more up below, uh, Joan. Below the question, the MLM part of program often kills the program. Then Gabriel yeah. said something very good. We have separated the purchase of the machine, the CV, from uh, from the yeah the CV, okay. the commissional volume. This is a very important fact. Mathematically, it cannot be. We we did, we don't pay right. It's impossible. Wait a second. I don't see it. I see below Joan, the MLM part of the program often kills the program. I just see some some answers, which is one from Gabriel and one from uh, NFT Warrior. And then I see exactly. Crypto Leader. And then comes Max to everyone. Installing yeah. machines in Europe. Ciao, sono Siri. Come posso aiutarti? Siri, shut up. Sorry, guys. Installing, installing yeah. machines Siri. in Europe costs a lot I'm of ready. electricity. Do not disturb. Yeah, Aaron, I cannot see it. After the MLM part of the program of the kill the program, I see the Gabriel answer. That's all. And yeah, then to hold them. Weird. Then there comes Max. Then there comes Aladino again. There's a question. Yeah. Install oh. machines in Europe costs a lot of electricity because you mentioned you install the machines in Europe. Yeah, but there was exactly, but there was the crypto holder question before that I was answering. The rank when it is paid and what condition must it met? And then it comes max. Yes, exactly. Then max. Then is max, exactly. That we don't miss the question. Yeah, no, no, no. I was answering the previous one, crypto holder. The rank when it is paid, I didn't get to max yet. So crypto holder. The rank when it needs to pay, the one condition must it met? 60, 40, etc. Yeah, so uh, the ranks are, are well described on the on the presentation slide and uh, actually requirements are pretty simple you must own or have sold a um, certain amount of nfts based on the rank you want to achieve then the second one is the group volume which means under your organization the full structure okay um, you should have a certain uh, um, quantity of group volume which is cumulative in time, okay? It's not monthly, it's cumulative. And then the third one, starting from uh, rank five, if I don't mistake, this volume, okay, for the specific rank, should met the 60-40. The 60-40 means that uh, all the volume below you, it cannot, for you to qualify, it cannot be done by just one person structure, because that means that this person did actually all the job and uh, 
we need to uh, reward this person and not the one on top. That's all, three simple ranks, uh, requirements, sorry. And the specific one by one in the in the presentation. I'm not gonna um, describe the, all the ranks and all the presentation of the commission planning here because is no is no place crypto right now. Okay, but thanks for your answer, uh, Max. For your question, sorry, <laughs> Max. Installing mining machines in Europe costs a lot of electricity. That's true. Why we don't do it? That's why we don't. It's not 100% true. It depends. It depends. Uh, for example, we are dealing uh, right now with, uh, a, we are dealing, okay? We, we didn't uh, uh, agree yet, but we are dealing with uh, two companies in Europe where the electricity usually it's very expensive, but we are trying to get into their mining facility because they have... Uh, um electricity from the dawn so yeah there are some uh, some uh, uh, mining factory that has very cheap energy price because the installation they have are green or solar or dawn you know so we are looking into it <clears throat> usually yes of course europe is very expensive but it, it depends Okay, Chris, can you explain what is the effectiveness as say for an Arduino right now? 14. No, 14. What does it mean? 14. Can you explain what is the effective hash rate for X Arduino? 14. And max range when I say 314. Well, Aaron, can you help me with this question from Chris? I uh, understand. 14 I also don't. I also don't understand it clearly. Chris, I'm gonna, I'm going, can you can you rephrase? Ah, okay. Ah, there is a link uh, below. Guys, don't send a link on. Uh, okay, I will. Uh, I know what link is this, but uh, please don't don't send links here. <laughs> we already. Had a bad experience with links in Zoom. Um, yeah, Gabriel, send to OpenSea exactly. That, that's the NFT. Chris, can you expand your your um, uh, question in the way that a poor uh, stupid person like me can understand? <laughs> Thank you. I will wait for your. Uh, I will keep going. I hope you will. Uh, you will uh, expand the concept a bit in the way I can understand, and then I will get back to you in case I don't understand, okay? Um, MPC Builder, you find your in your MetaMask wallet, is, you can send it, beware to not get scammed. We send your NFT, you see, any put your NFT and that not. Be aware not to get scammed when sending out. Well, if you send it to your wife, of course, you're gonna get scammed. I'm joking, girls, come on. Okay. Uh, NFT warrior, <laughs> First I know for course that we have already a few good months ahead before the bull run kicks in. It's in fact inflation, it's in fact, of course, we are going to cut. Um, well, hopefully, Stephen. Last QA, you mentioned some exciting new news coming. Not sure if you're ready to say, but I'm very interested in what this is. Not ready yet. No, I mean, we are working on uh, on a bunch of new videos to make it easier you know um for people to understand what actually aladino business model is that's that's our main focus today um so we want to we are very focused with the marketing team and, and my ceo with michele to provide a way that uh, is going to be much more easier for you to send out i don't know a video and the people for example can understand what NFT is, what mining is. I know you guys are all experts, but I'm not. And if I receive something, I want to understand what it is. So we are working on a way to simplify the Aladino concept, okay? In a way that everyone is gonna get immediately the catch of what it is and can get to you uh, ASAP. Other news, uh, well, it's all marketing. 
it's all marketing and some other improvement, which I'm not ready to talk about right now. Uh, but you will see it by the 15th slash 20 on November tops. I can tell you, Stephen, you're going to love it. Get ready. Guys, 15, 20 of November, there will be a couple of things you are going to love it. I know. I know for sure. Uh, my suggestion is get ready. Get ready means prepare your network. If you have been thinking about Aladino right now, I don't know, let me see how it's going. Well, this is the time to kick out. Uh, you will see, I told you, then uh, 15 November, 20 of November slash when we are gonna have these news coming out, you will remember, ouch, Michele told me, uh, kick harder than before, work hard, play hard, live hard. If you like Aladino, this is the moment to work hard, and to play hard. This is the moment, guys. Uh, November uh, and December and January, those are gonna be the month um, that are going to uh, store the energy for being released. I'm talking about the project and your network and your growth and your money. Um, it's a business, okay? There is no business that you join today and tomorrow you make some money. Mm -hmm. That is not, simply that is not. It doesn't exist. Oh, well, there are some, but I don't like those kind of businesses. So uh, for every business, there is a, a moment when you start and you need to store some energy and then it's released. And uh, I can tell you, November, December, and January is um, preparation, you know, for Aladino and for you. Uh, as we said, and I said at the beginning, November for us and October especially was perfect, just perfect, the perfect size uh, for testing a bunch of things, for um, uh, fine tuning a bunch of things. And I know November is going to be a compression, not in terms of sales, it's going to be a compression in terms of energy because the information are going to be compressed, the people are going to start understanding better the concept being able to promote it in a more efficient way, um, we grow up step by step, step by step, and then there is going to be the momentum, no? the one that always happened in MLM, and uh, the energy will be released. Uh, with all the things that we are doing and working right now, I'm pretty sure that the first stage, the momentum never happened, you know, it's not like that. It starts and then it booms. Well, the first release of this momentum will be probably end of November. And then uh, you will see what happens. Uh, there will be probably not 22 or 27 people in this meeting room, but it's going to be 200 and something, you know? And that is not going to be so cozy as it is right now. And I hope each one of you uh, will uh, be able to say, oh, luckily I was there, you know? But it's going to happen sooner or later, a week or two weeks or uh, or uh, a month or two months. It doesn't matter. I know for sure we are not on hurry, and I hope you are not on hurry too. Um, that in this room every uh, Tuesday there will be a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, or a thousand people. Um, it's about releasing the energy. Now we are just storing, you know. And uh, for you, it's the same. It's like a spring. We're like you know compressing, compressing, and then pop. This Q&A, this presentation we are doing every week, you know, it looks like they are not useful, but actually they it, it's for compressing the spring. Uh, okay, Kim, one question from Dowline. Okay, oh, I like that. When somebody buys example two times 250, man say, is it only one FT of MetaMask, correct? No S2 NFT picture. And he just wonder if somebody want to sell it. MetaMask only has one buy. We have there 25 NFT. The, the, okay, wait. Well, I will I will uh, answer the first question because I know the answer. So, and then I will go into the second part. So, you can buy 10 NFTs. Uh, you will only have uh, one of its kind. Means if you buy a 25, you will see a 25. You buy 
at 250, you see one, two, and 50. You buy a 500, you see a 500. That's a representation on MetaMask, which is not up to us. Um, if you buy three of the same kind, 250, you will see just one. The real deal is you have to see in the back office if you have three of them and if the purchases went through. When you send it out once, it doesn't mean that when you send it out, you have no more. In MetaMask, you will still have two, but the representation is just one. I know it's not up to us. It's MetaMask that works this way. The important thing for you to uh, check, Kim, is in your back office, in Aladino back office, if you buy two of them, you, there should be a number two in the same NFT. That's important. Uh, if they are not sure that's true or not, MetaMask or not, well, just open a new MetaMask account, okay? You send out an NFT in your other MetaMask wallet, and then you put it back, and you will see. There are two, that's for sure. And they just wonder, if somebody want to sell, but see the NFT MetaMask only as one buy, we have, we have, he have their 25 NFT, and are they okay? That too, sir. When you want to send it or sell it is the same. You have 10 of the same kind. MetaMask will only show one. The important is in the back office. Do the test, buy two of 25. Send, you will see just one in MetaMask. Try to send, uh, send it out, transfer one to some other wallet and send it back. And you will see. You will still have one you send it out. The one you have two, you send it out one, you will still have one. Will you implement code of conduct or code of ethics? Yes, there are. There are. Uh, in the web page, there are. And you actually sign them up in your uh, when you accept the terms and condition of distributor. After you purchase the NFT, you still don't see the, the referral link. When you click on it and um, to have your generate your link, you have a pop-up that comes out and there are terms and conditions there that you accept and are connected to the policy and procedure, which also explain what we, as distributor, what we can do, what we cannot do. Mm -hmm. Steven, right, Chris, right now, Ladino show 14 effective hash rate in link on page. Sorry if I put the link, not in my, oh, don't worry, Chris, it's okay, it's our link. It's okay, I just care about the link since, since the Zoom last experience. But how can I explain to people if it is a good benchmark or no? Is it 14% or 100%? Well, if you look at the, at the link, Aladino link, you see there are right now, let me double check because Paolo keep buying and buying and buying. So there are 103, oh, just one has been updated. 103 uh, mining uh, computers. Uh, average price, I told you, so people doesn't know the average price, but I told you it's about, we pay between uh, 2,800 and, and uh, $3,500 each. So an average of $3,100 an investment of 300,000. And this is a giving Aladino pool 32,000 a month, which actually is in terms of BTC, eh? not dollars. BTC production uh, equivalent, 0.9 BTC. You can see here, 0.9 BTC. Effective hash rate 14.1. I have no idea if it is a good one or a bad one. I see average for me, it's, um, sorry, hash rate for me is money. When I see 0 0.9 BTC, which is at the price of today, 32,800 out of $300,000 investment, that's almost a 10% in BTC a month. That's huge. I don't know the hash rate, if it's good or not. I'm not an expert. I will ask, I will ask. Would you consider paying commission from the start on eight? Would you, Jos? Would you consider paying commission from the start on eight level if you pay the NFT of without having the rank? No. 
uh, wait, wait, wait. That's a tricky question. Just would you consider paying commission from the start on eight level if you paid an NFT without having the rank? Um, well, I think our commission plan is actually super simple, super, super simple. Um, usually in, in MLMs, um, I'm a distributor. I was born as a distributor. You guys know the story, 93. We, we usually think that whatever the company doesn't ask is better. Uh, whatever limitation there are, or whatever requirements there are, it's better. And then we realize that when we have a network, our people are not working, they are not doing nothing. And that's usually because the commission plan do not require nothing. So if the commission plan do not require nothing or less, there's going to be less sales. Will be, hello? Guys, can you hear me? I see internet connection unstable on my screen. Aaron, can you? Okay, fantastic. So, it was okay. Uh, yeah, I just came out unstable connection and I just wanted to double check. So right now, no. Right now, I wouldn't consider to just buy uh, NFT and give eight levels. No, that shouldn't be only the requirements of the purchase for giving out the levels, you know? Kim, thanks. Jos, can you send NFT to a different account within the same MetaMask wallet? Yes. Yes, pretty sure you can. I never tried, but yes, it's another address. So yes, you can do it. Jos. Okay, guys. Um, again, uh, thank you very much for being here today. Was was a pleasure to have you here. I'm going to be in an hour in the Spanish uh, Q and A. Uh, um, thank you very much for everyone. Thank you very much, Aaron. Uh, Aladino just started, guys, 40 days. And uh, don't forget, 15, 20 of November, 15 slash 20 of November, start uh, thinking at Aladino not as a long lifetime term company that you will become old with, but believe me, uh, in a month or two, this energy that we are compressing and storing is going to be released. So do your max right now, you know, um, try to imitate the company culture of someone like me that doesn't like to work that much. So I put all my efforts, everything I have, at the beginning, that's what I do. I don't like to work in a project for 10 years every day like a monkey, you know? I put all my effort, all my energy. I wake up at four in the morning, go to sleep at midnight, you know? But I do it for a short period of time because that's the most important part, the beginning. You guys at the, at the beginning, I don't know what you did good in your life for, for being here. And uh, just take advantage of it because being here, you know, just staying here, having a, um, an NFT or participating to this um, won't make any difference. Not that much. Action is the most important part. Thank you very much for everyone for being here. Good night.